Hey guys, what's up? So, ever since I've had this printer, this printer bot, I've wanted to upgrade it to a uh, glass bed. And one of the issues, one of the reasons why you couldn't is because of the sensor. That's actually an inductive sensor, and it won't pick up any sort of like uh, glass material or uh, non-metallic um, materials. So, what I got is a capacitive sensor, and I actually did other videos. I do actually have different capacitive sensors I've tried with my larger printers. But, um, yeah, I bought this over on Amazon, I'll put a link on it, but this is a capacitive sensor. And this should be able to pick up uh, any, any material, not just basically uh, metallic materials. So, like glass. So, yeah, I got this glass over to uh, Lowe's. It's not a good glass, it's not like, t it's not like the uh, uh, tempered glass like I have on my other printer. That's, uh, I don't know, I can't remember, it starts with barcelicate, or something like that, I can't remember. But, so some big plans for the printer. Um, uh, future of coming up, coming videos, I'm going to be doing a Bowden, not Bowden, but a uh, uh, Bontech type uh, clone knockoff extruder on there. I'm going to put an LCD on here too as well. And the diff and also, uh, this is a Raspberry, Ti Raspberry Pi 2 I had, extra one laying around. Might do that. Um, but then the, the key is what I'm trying to do is find a way to put my 32-bit forward mass care 1.1 on there eventually get that in there to replace the old Marlin uh, printer board but uh, that's like a dual fan to cool off the uh, stepper motors but those are Trinamic 2208s so I had this leftover from my project my other project my 32-bit project upgrade so get the on yeah, that's not what this video is about this video is about uh, upgrading the sensor so alright so capacitive sensor so it should be the same as the other one normally open, so I should just be able to wire it the same way as my other sensor. It's weird. It's all cake with some weird material, so I've got to feed it down like I did the other one. And uh, before I do that, before I mess with that, I'm going to make sure it works. And I guess we'll open this glass up to see if it fits. Right, so these are a couple of things I printed out for this printer. They're for a printer bot, but they connect to these screws right here, and they hold the glass in place. So it's cool to hold it in this way on the x-axis and also the y-axis so there's little lips on there to keep it in place that goes around like that but, all right uh, so this is the difference between a capacitive so like see that red light that's active so this will activate on pretty much any any material so i mean this will do my finger so plastic well actually not plastic but let's try the glass before <laughs> uh let's see let's make sure it's that would be there we go. See that? That's why you need capacitive. Just curious to see the electrical table go. Yeah, I don't know why the. Uh, I don't know if it's just the density. Like what triggers this? You know, if there's. Yeah, like why it doesn't do it in this light plastic, you know, I think it might just be a certain level of density. Yeah, see this is a different plastic right here, right? But this, I think it must be density, I don't know. See? Nope. Yeah, no, it's weird. Alright, cool. Uh, but at least it works in the glass and that's what I need. Alright, so I got this connected to my multimeter. Let's activate it. And we'll see what it returns. 13.35, and that's actually what I have on my uh, variable power supply. So, like I said, this is one of the few motherboards that I would actually accept that as basically being a trigger. So, any other motherboard, that could fry it out. So, like there's a specific jumper on that motherboard for 5 volt and 12 volt. So this should be just be a direct swap for me. I just gotta uh, trim it, put a connector on it, and that's it. I don't want to even mess with Marlin, so since this is being triggered exactly the same way, no Marlin configuration, straight swap. I'm sure I'm going to have to mess with the offsets because it's going to be different. Like the sensitivity where it picks up is going to be different, so I'll have to mess with that, but that's about it. Get it going. Alright, so now I'm going to solder those wires on right there. A little connector. And just put it back on the motherboard. It's like the other one, so. Alright. Okay, so now this thing's all hooked up back in business. So let's say uh, I'm going to do some adjustments here. So the, the trick is, 
this this sensor needs to activate before the uh, the hot end actually hits the bed. So right there, that's a pretty big offset. So I might want to. That's where it triggers. I could probably bring it down a little bit more, but I'll try that. So I might have to probably do a pretty big offset before it detects it, so we'll see. So it's just going to be a matter of messing with that right there, but I'll start off with bigger. That's That means it's pretty sensitive, so that's good, but right, I'm going to fire up a Simplify 3D, and uh, I'm going to get this thing working first before I put my glass on it, because I don't, don't want to crack the bed, so crack the new glass. All right. All right, so I'm going to issue M119 command to see what the uh, end stops are doing. 119. Let's see. Okay, open, open, open. That's what we want. Open, open, open. So I'm going to bring this down. Okay. We'll do the same command again. If you can see that. Triggered. See the Z is triggered right there? Right there. And All right, so... Let's do a G28 command. Let's do a G29 command. Alright, so I'm going to do a test print real quick and see if I, I need to get the offset set correctly. So, Alright, so one of the things that actually would make this easier is this LCD. I'd love to be able to have baby stepping. That actually definitely helps out a lot when you're trying to get this thing set, the offset. So, that's coming up. That's going to go right there. Maybe you can see that, but I definitely got to bring it down a little bit. So, yeah, that's just kind of part. So, Alright, I'm going to bring it down by um, 2. Alright. Alright, so now I got a pretty good decent first layer. It's pretty tight, but I could probably go up one. I'm gonna put that glass bit on now. Clean this build tack surface up and put the glass bit on. Alright, glass bed's in place. Pretty basic, man. Just a couple screws. There it is. So what I'm, I can't figure out is uh, most people that actually own these printer bots, I don't know sure if they don't know. Or they actually some of these guys they put foil on the bill plate, and maybe they didn't realize all you have to do is spend ten dollars and replace a sensor to a different kind of sensor, and that's all you need to do. You don't have to put any sort of foil anywhere. So, <clears throat> all right, get this thing printed. All right, there it is. Not bad. So, it only cost me $20 to do it the right way. You know, without the full strips, but actually the real sensor, the passive sensor, and a little cheap piece of glass. And pretty cool. One thing I like about the glass is that super smooth service that it gives you. Like the mirror-like finish. Alright guys, cool.